our beloved viewers, it's 9 p.m. You are watching on live RTD channel. Welcome to this English news edition. Here are the top stories. The Minister of Environment participated in the fifth session of the United Nations Environment Assembly. And on the international scene, Russian announced ceasefire in uh, Mariupol and uh, uh, the president evacuate. Those were the top stories. Thanks for joining us in our newsroom. Uh, from 28th of February to uh, 4th of this March, His Excellency, the Minister of Environment and Sustainable Development, uh, Mr. Mohammed Abdul Qadir Musa Halim, participated uh, in the work of uh, the fifth session of United Nations Environment Assembly uh, and uh, he participated in the work of the fifth session of uh, the United Nations Environment Assembly as well as in the celebration of uh, the fifth anniversary of uh, the founding of the United Nations Environment Program. The team uh, chosen for the fifth uh, session of uh, the United Nations Environment Assembly was to promote action in favor of nature to achieve uh, the sustainable development goals. These uh, uh, slogans uh, underscore the urgent need to take uh, concrete action in favor of uh, protecting our unique planet. Uh, the fifth session of the United Nations Environment Assembly adopt a landmark resolution establishing an intergovernmental committee whose takes uh, its uh, prepare uh, legally uh, uh, linking together the provision to end uh, plastic pollution the decision addresses uh, the entire stage of uh, plastic, uh, for example, its uh, production, use, uh, and uh, disposal. The legally uh, linking agreement is uh, scheduled to be adopted uh, in the year uh, 24. The uh, conference also adopt uh, the resolution to establish an intergovernmental plan uh, intergovernmental sorry panels on uh, chemicals and waste management other important discussions and decision were uh, taken uh, during this important conference in his speech uh, at the work of uh, the fifth session of uh, the United Nations General Assembly for the Protection of uh, the Environment, the Minister of Environment and Sustainable Development, Mr. Abdul Qadir Musa Halem, in his speech expressed his uh, pleasure to address the work of fifth session of the United Nations Environment Assembly and to celebrate the fifth anniversary of uh, the establishment and uh, United Nations for the protection of the environment. And uh, he said, allow me first to extend my warmest congratulations to the president of uh, the conference. At the same time, I would like to thank the government and people of Kenya for the warm welcome by the delegation has uh, received uh, my delegation has received uh, uh, since our arrival in the beautiful city of Nairobi. I also congratulate the UN Environment Secretary for uh, preparing all the necessary documents for the smooth running of our meeting. The team chosen for this session is a strengthened effort in favor of nature in order to achieve the sustainable development goals. These topics underscore the need to take concrete measures in favor of uh, protecting our uh, dear and unique planet since the establishment of uh, the United Nations Environment program, the world has changed a lot. It is clear that the living condition of the population have improved. We can note in particular an increase in life expect, uh, expecting and a decrease in illiteracies, uh, uh, the reduction in poverty and uh, technological progress. On the other hand, the state of our planet is uh, more worrying today than uh, it was uh, 15 years ago, he concluded. 
The Minister of Economic and Finance, Mr. Ilyas Musa Dewali, received a high-level delegation from the International Finance Corporation of the World Bank Group, who is on a working visit to Djibouti, discussing between the minister and delegation were focused on the threatening of the private sector in Djibouti. Uh, with, uh, with the support from the International Finance Corporation and support program aiming at uh, the expanding access to finance for small and medium enterprises and access to affordable housing for the resident for the residents of Djibouti. The minister and his uh, guests is also discussed threatening of uh, the manufacturing industries, infrastructure, developing logistics, energy, and uh, information technology. The AFC's strategy is aligned uh, with the government's uh, vision in 2035 development plan, uh, which aims to develop growth and uh, improve uh, the quality of life for citizens uh, by increasing investment in the private sector. Under the auspice of the Minister of National Education and Vocational Training, the first district in the capital of Djibouti organized today the count editions of the two-kilometer race in the Angela district. This uh, recreational day aims at raising awareness among young people of uh, combating delinquencies and drug. Fifteen elementary schools uh, complete, competed in the uh, two kilometers running race and uh, students from the Al Haji Dide school won the first place. For girls, uh, uh, students from the uh, Freedom Schools uh, got the first, second, and third place uh, on Angela School. The ceremony was attended by the Director General of the Education, Mr. Abdi Adiri, representative of uh, the Saba Bank, a team of uh, teachers in the school, uh, parents and students, and members of uh, the Neighborhood Council. Remember that sport is a true competitor to the social integration and it is an important component of education and culture. Still a sport news now, Hassan Guledi Stadium hosted the closing ceremony of a training courses in the file of uh, Decade Rio in favor of all uh, the uh, district uh, to obtain the future black spell. This national tournament was organized by the Federation of uh, Djibouti in Decade Rio game. About 50 amateurs of uh, this game from all regions and subdivision participate in this session as well as six uh, athletes uh, from Ethiopia and others from uh, the Alpha region uh, who have uh, been practicing this game intensively for a long time. The courses was organized by the two international experts, Ms. Melanie and uh, the, uh, the compound name uh, with the three meaning uh, and the K2 Rio stands uh, for a gathering. Moving on now to the international scenes on Saturday, Russian forces announced uh, a ceasefire in uh, Mariupol uh, for, uh, for the evacuated civilians from this uh, strategy port uh, to eastern Ukraine on the 10th day of uh, invasion in the wake of uh, uh, the uh, shock waves caused by the uh, bombing of European, uh, by Europe's largest nuclear power plant. Uh, this is it for this edition. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful evening.